today we will read a poem that is named the poetry of art written by john keats it is very important poem and easy to remember at the same time you can also write some of the broad questions from here and uh, in case of SAQ, short questions also you can answer from there because it is easy to remember all the things. First of all, to begin with, actually the poetry of art which is written by John Keats is a sonnet. So we don't need to go for elaborate definition of sonnet. Our sonnet basic definition of Dorkani because we have already read so many sonnets in our class 11 and 12 syllabus. Now, what kind of sonnet is it? It is actually a Petrarchan sonnet. Petrarchan sonnet, you know, in Petrarchan sonnet, 14 signs, uh, lines are there and it is generally divided into two parts. One part is called octave and the other part is sestet. It's already written on the screen. Now, in octave and sestet, that means eight lines and the six lines. Stanza, in both stanza, there is a particular rhyme scheme followed by the poet John Keats. In octave, the scheme, the rhyme scheme is as written on the screen A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, and in sestet C, D, E, C, D, E. You have to remember this thing, and you better know what I mean to say about the rhyme scheme. So, this is actually the structure of the poem. It is a Petrarchan sonnet written in 14 lines divided into two stanza, octave, and sestet, and this is the rhyme scheme that we, I have already told you. Beside this structure and the style of the poem and the format of the poem, the main subject matter and the theme of the poem is the universal music of nature. This is the theme, universal music of nature. And for, it, for this, I have to go to the title of the poem. Now, concentrate on the title of the poem. What is the title? The Poetry of Art. Now, here, suppose... Poetry means songs and the music and art here seems to be nature. So the poetry of art means the song or music of nature. According to John Keats, the song and the music of nature is permanent. That means Keats has entitled this poem as the poetry of art as he wants to point out the universal music of nature universal music of nature because it is the poet's belief that the beauty of nature never ends whatever the season may be in this particular poem in the first stanza we will get a beautiful picture of summer the beauty of the summer season and an insect that is grasshopper now in the summer in the first stanza, as he described, in the summer, that beauty is heard in the grasshopper's call. That is the beauty of the song or music of nature is heard in the grasshopper's call or the grasshopper's song. In the same way, in the second stanza, in the sixth state, the winter beauty of the nature is presented, is shown by the shrill sound of the cricket. Now, cricket means here in Bengali, Jiji Poka. So, in the two particular stanza, we find two particular seasons and two particular agents. Now, I have written here two agents. Now, who are the two agents? Grass hoopers and cricket. In the summer season, grass hooper sings the song that means continues the music of the nature. And in the winter season, in the second Stanza, the cricket, another insect, continues the song of the nature. So, it actually refers to the universal music of nature, the beauty of nature that never ends. Actually, the poem, originally named as On the Grasshopper and Cricket, it was written in green color, on the grasshopper and cricket. Later on, John Keats named it as the poetry of art, following the first line of the poem. Now, to begin with the poem. First stanza, that is the 
octave, eight lines stand here. The poet described the summer seasons and the nature's agent. Ekhane nature's agent ke, ekhane nature's agent ho, grass ho The poetry of art is never dead. That means poetry of art or the song of the art or the music of the art or the music of the nature is never dead. It continues. Shab shoma iti continue thake. It shesh nahi. When all the birds are faint with the hot sun, Jokhon Shomosto Pakhira are faint. Faint means faint means exhausted with the hot sun. That means in the summer season, due to the scorching heat of the sun, when all the birds are faint, are exhausted, Sheishomai and hide Pakhira Gi Lukai Kothalukache in cooling trees. In cooling trees, Mane, cooling trees Kotarotuche, cooling shades of the trees. That means in the scorching heat of the sun, the bird is exhausted and they hide in the cool shade of the trees at that time the song of the nature is continued by by the grasshopper here the poet says a voice will run here the voice actually refers to the voice of the grasshopper now a voice will run from hedge to hedge hedge mana jobjar ekta jobjar theke ar ekta jobjare about the new moon meat it is important it is bhalo bhalo shunbe new moon means newly cut a new moon means newly cut and mid mane mido mane trinobhumi tahole ei grasshopper er awaj ta kotha theke kothay jacche grasshopper er awaj ta ekta hedge theke arakta hedge hoye new towards the new moon meat that means newly cut mido er dike jacche that is the grasshoppers ekhane grasshoppers bolte grasshopper songs it is the song of the grasshopper that grasshopper continues the music of the earth when the birds are exhausted pakhira je gaan ta gai chilo prakritir shei gaan ta kintu prakrider exhausted howar moddhe diye shesh hoye jay ni seta ke bohon kore cholche ba seta ke bohon korar daitto niyeche notun ekjon nature er agent tar naam grasshopper he takes the lead in summer luxury. Here he refers to the Gazupa. He takes the lead in summer luxury. That is summer is luxury. That means the beauty of the summer. The beauty of the summer. Summer is a prachur jota, shondur jo, shater leader. Shater ke leader di cheke amadarekane Gazupa. He has never done with his delights. And he has never done. That means he is never satisfied with the beautiful, with the delight of the nature for when tired out with fun are jodi grasshopper jokhon tired out with fun mane moja korte korte klanto hoye pore jokhon grasshopper he rests here he refers to the grasshopper he rests at the ease at the at ease bolte easily at ease kotha rotto holo easily so here the grasshopper easily takes rest kothay Beneath some pleasant wheat, beneath mane under some pleasant wheat, pleasant mane anondo, anonder kono weeder niche ge bisram nae, weed mane jobcha. Ekhane generally wheat kotha thea ortho hoche agacha. To agacha to kono shumai pleasant hoy na, kintu ekhane the weed is pleasant due to the presence of the grass hooper. Actually, weed is not pleasant. The Grasshopper is actually pleasant. The song of the grasshopper is pleasant. So this is the octave, the meaning of the octave that I want to tell you in a nutshell. Shankipta hobe ami bolar chesta kollam. Ei octave er pore amra octave thale ki dekhlam amra? In the summer season, the beauties and the songs of the nature is carried through by the grasshopper. Here, grasshopper is the agent when birds are exhausted. In the next video, we will read the next stanza and come to end with the poem go to the next video